Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Eye bags, dark under eye circles, puffy eyes, wrinkles and fine lines right around your eyes. Guess what? Today I have a remedy for you. Now this is more so going to get rid of the dark circles and the puffy eye bag. So if you're struggling with any of these and you want a quick and easy and a very natural remedy that you can use in the comfort of your home to get rid of those eye bags and those dark circles with the bonus of getting rid of the wrinkles and fine lines around the eyes, then continue watching this video. Our first ingredient is potato and potato is known to get rid of puffy eyes, dark circles and also wrinkles and fine lines. Potato is used in this recipe mainly for the dark circles. Potato have an ingredient called chemical lace which will help to brighten and lighten your under eyes. Not only that, it will also help to reduce puffiness and eye bags. Our second ingredient is cucumber and cucumber is a wonderful ingredient to use around the eyes. It's gonna help to get rid of the puffy eyes. It's also gonna help to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines. It's gonna help to smooth the eye area. It's gonna help to relieve tired eyes and it is also going to help to lighten and brighten the under eyes. Our third ingredient is green tea and green tea is a wonderful ingredient to use on your eyes. Green tea is going to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines. It is loaded with antioxidants that are great for brightening your under eyes. It is also great for getting rid of tired eyes, eye bags and puffy eyelid. Now we have a final ingredient which is some rose water and rose water is great to use around the eyes it will help to get rid of the wrinkles it is also great for the puffy eyes and the eye bags also gonna be making a oil to use under your eyes I'm using some vitamin E oil and some avocado oil these two combined is gonna help to build the collagen and the lasting under the eyes therefore it's gonna get rid of the puffy eyes and let your eyes look really young fresh alive and wide awake okay for the application for this recipe you're gonna need some cotton pads you could use either the round or the squares a grater and a strainer is also necessary for this recipe so to begin I'm gonna prepare the potato and I'm also gonna prepare the cucumber first I'm gonna prepare the potato by peeling and this is a medium potato now this is not sweet potato this is what is known as regular potato or some places you call this Irish potato once you peeled your potato you're gonna grate the potato you can also choose to blend the potato but I prefer to grate it now here we have our grated potato and I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to work on the cucumber. So I'm going to take a small piece of a cucumber, probably about a quarter of a medium cucumber and I'm going to wash this thoroughly. For this I'm going to use both the inside and also the peel so make sure to wash properly. So here we have our washed cucumber and now I'm going to grate the cucumber. Now it doesn't matter what type of cucumber you use, you know they have several different types of cucumber. Just use any cucumber that you have. They all have the same properties. So here we have our grated potato and our grated cucumber. I'm going to strain these separately, but if you're home and you're doing this, you could just mix the two together and strain it. So I'm going to do my potato first. So what I'm doing here is extracting fresh potato juice. You don't need a lot, however you could make a weak supply, which in that case you do two medium potato. So here we have our fresh potato juice. You can see the starch in the bottom of this. And we're gonna set that aside moving on to our cucumber and now we're gonna juice our cucumber just like we did our potato just squeeze and no water to this guy do not add any water to any of this 
And here we have our cucumber juice. Next, we're gonna take care of our green tea. And we have a tea bag here. You're not gonna open this green tea. So we're just gonna pour about two ounces of hot water on the green tea. So once the hot water is on the green tea, you're gonna put this aside to brew for about three minutes or more. So here we have our ingredient. We have our cucumber juice. We have our potato juice, we have our green tea, and we also have our rose water. And now I'm gonna put this all together. So to begin, I'm gonna start with my green tea and I'm gonna remove the bag. Just squeeze everything out. And this is about two tablespoons of green tea. Next, we're moving to our potato. You wanna mix this. And we're gonna use two tablespoons of our potato juice. This is one, this is two. I have a little leftover, why not just pour it in? And for our cucumber, we're using the same, always stir, guys. And I'm using two tablespoons, add a little more. As a matter of fact, just use everything. And now this is ready to blend. So we're just gonna mix our wonderful goodness. We're gonna mix this up together. And next, we're gonna reach for the rose water. And for the rose water, we're using one tablespoon of rose water. So we're gonna pour this in. Ooh, smells so good. And there we have it. And we're just gonna mix this together. Just mix well. And this is so good, guys. This is really wonderful. Now, our eye solution is ready. Now that our eye solution is ready, what I like to do with this is, here I have a Ziploc bag, and you wanna make sure to wash the bag thoroughly. Then I'm gonna take my cotton pads and here are the cotton pads make sure they're even one two three and this is four days supplies of cotton pad and what i like to do i like to put the cotton pads in a bag make sure it's not leaking a zip locker bag just put your cotton pads in once you have your cotton pads in the bag you're gonna take your solution and you're gonna pour it on the cotton pads. Pour back a little, make sure to get rid of the starch from your potato. So you're gonna pour it in the bag. Now once this is done, make sure to close your bag properly. Once you do that, soak up your cotton pads and guess what? You're gonna keep this in your refrigerator just like this for up to seven days. It could go up to 10 days, but fresh is better, so do not keep it longer than about seven days. Now, when you're ready to use it, you're gonna take it out, and all you gotta do is to reach in your bag, like I'm showing here, and you're gonna pull out two of your cotton pads, and you are good to go. Here is your high treatment, all right? So that's gonna make it easier for you. So now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. You need to cool this for at least three to four hours to activate the potato catechulase, okay? And also for the cooling from the cucumber and the other ingredients. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make the oil and then I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and I'm gonna show you how to use this. I'm also gonna demonstrate for you how wonderful and and how effective this eye treatment really is. I'm gonna make the oil for the eyes and I'm using some vitamin E oil, some avocado oil. You can also choose to use a little of a bobo oil. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of our avocado oil, a tablespoon. And since I brought this out, I'm gonna use it. If you do not have a bobo oil, it's okay. You could leave it out. I'm gonna use a teaspoon in it. And this boba oil is great for wrinkles and fine lines. That is why we're using it in this eye treatment. Next, we're reaching for a vitamin E oil. And this is 2,800 IU. Use whatever IU you have. You can add more or less. So I'm going to put about a half of a teaspoon of 
this vitamin E oil and I need a few drops for that I do have a dropper in mine and that's good that's about three dropper full and next I'm gonna blend this oil together my vitamin E oil is a little thick and that's good it's give it a ceramic consistency and I'm gonna just blend now this is good you can choose to store this in a little glass jar you don't have to put this in the refrigerator keep this wherever you have your eye cream and serums and body lotion and stuff like that on the countertop now this is ready and in a few hours I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful ingredient to get rid of your dog on the eye circles your puffy eyes your wrinkles on fine lines and also how to get rid of tired eyes so here is our treatments and this has been in the refrigerator for over four hours really nice really cool and now it's ready for application and this is our second step which we're going to use after we remove this okay now i'm going to take two pads one two and these are nicely soaked i'm just going to remove the excess now i am extremely tired today and that's why i know today was the perfect day to do this video so i'm gonna let you see my dark circles and everything like that just take a look and to make this very effective guys i am only gonna use one ipad and i'm gonna cover this eye so take a look you could see my eye bags here and this one is normal so I'm gonna cover one and I'm gonna sit with this for at least 30 minutes so now I'm gonna place this over my eyes oh my goodness it's really really cold and you want to pat it in I close my eyes okay so you want to pat this in so make sure when you apply this you are where you want to sit so don't put it on and try to open your eyes just cover your eyes sit where you're ready to sit for the 30 minutes and then you apply it over your eyes now once you place this over your eyes you want to press it in you want to make sure the treatment cover the entire area so now i'm going to sit with this for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the difference. So it has been 30 minutes. I think it's about 35 minutes that I'm wearing this. And now I'm gonna remove it for you to see. I'm gonna come close so we could share this together. And I'm gonna slowly remove it. Wow, feels so refreshing. And let me zoom in. Take a look now wow this is awesome guys now this is the untreated eye wow this is amazing this is the untreated eye and look at this one that i sat with for 30 minutes just look at the huge difference untreated treated so there you have it guys this is really a truly amazing treatment and i deliberately didn't take care of my under eyes for you to see how well this works now you really and truly need to give this a try make enough to last you for a week okay and just continue to use it if you have severe dark circles and puffy eyes just give it a while and before you know it you are going to be so happy after you do the first application you're going to see a huge like almost Almost an instant like what you're seeing here results so give this a try and don't reuse the pads okay just toss them once you use just toss them if you have more liquid you could add more cotton pads to the liquid but don't you know double dip all right now once this is done you're gonna reach for your oil and this is what you're gonna leave on and you can choose to use this oil at least twice per day morning and evening so you're just gonna take a little of the oil and you're gonna dab it right under your under eye now don't forget to do the side where you tend to have all the wrinkles at, oh my eyes feel so amazing it's just I will have to go do it over because I have to do this one to balance it but you could oh you could really 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 feel oh it's really good so just dab it right here at the side and don't forget to do over the eyes and you're gonna leave that on use this oh, guys 
Whoa. So use this whenever you wish, day and night for best result. Now this you store on the countertop and you can keep this on your countertop for six weeks or more. Just you make a little small bag, use it up and make fresh one. It is good to go. Okay guys? So there so you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to leave your comments and give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you know someone with severe eye bags and puffy eyes and dark on the eye surface, Circles, just share this with them okay thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye